Cavernous Malformation, What You Need to Know Cavernous malformations are a mass of tiny, abnormal blood vessels and larger, thin-walled blood vessels that are stretched out and filled with blood. The clusters are found inside the brain, usually in the cerebrum portion. However, the clusters can also occur in the spine and the outer covering, dura, and the nerves of the brain. Cavernous malformations are small in size, around a quarter to three quarters of an inch. They are also known as cavernous angiomas, cavernous hemangiomas, cavernomas, and intracranial vascular malformations. Because of where they occur, cavernous malformations can cause severe symptoms that require medical attention. Here's all you need to know about this. Causes. The exact cause of cavernous malformations is not known. Experts believe that it may be a result of genetic mutations and can be inherited. Studies show that around 20% of people with cerebral cavernous malformations have to deal with the familial type. The genes supposed to be responsible for this include CCM2, KRIT1, CCM1, and PDCD10, CCM3. Symptoms. A person with cavernous malformations may not experience symptoms for quite some time. When they do appear, their intensity depends on where they are located and the strength of their walls. Furthermore, the neurological conditions they may cause depend on the affected area of the brain or the spinal cord. Symptoms might go away for some time as cavernous malformations release the blood they have inside before beginning to reabsorb it. The symptoms you might experience are 1. Problem with balance 2. Seizures 3. Weakness in the legs or arms 4. Vision problems 5. Headaches 6. Attention and memory problems Diagnosis You need to seek medical help if any of those symptoms appear suddenly. A doctor will ask for your family history and a detailed account of your symptoms. If they suspect cavernous malformation, they will ask for an MRI scan of the head region. MRIs, with contrast or without, are repeated several times to determine the exact location and the size of the malformations. You will be referred to a neurosurgeon after a cavernous malformation diagnosis. Treatment Cavernous malformations might show symptoms for years. If they are discovered meanwhile, the asymptomatic lesions will simply be monitored to check on their size. You might be prescribed anticonvulsant medication and will need tests every year to take a look at the malformations. For symptomatic lesions, you might be given medication to control the symptoms until they subside. However, surgery is often considered for serious cases if 1. The seizures cannot be kept in check through medication. 2. Malformations are easily acceptable and in a low-risk part of the brain. And three, malformations are confirmed to be causing the symptoms. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.